hey everyone do you remember the feeling after cracking meat a sleepless night and a months of struggle and suddenly you will see your name in the mbbs list after a few weeks you pack your bags you leave your room you say bye to your parents and then enter into a new world called a medical college a new friends a new college new freedom but the most important thing is a new syllabus that it's you harder than the need syllabus welcome to the first year mbbs the most unforgettable year of your journey in becoming a doctor hi i am sharma third year medical student studying in balari medical college karnataka which is top four medical college in mbbs three type of books exist they are gold standard exam oriented and then quick revision books so in the first year you need to study three subjects that is anatomy physiology and biochemistry so first subject is anatomy anatomy is a very huge subject you need to study multiple books so first start with a gold standard that is grace anatomy a book with a beautiful illustrations as well as a knee labor diagrams and very uh, depth explained in that book but most of the students won't read any standard books because they are time consuming as well as very a uh, paragraphically explained so students skip that books and they will refer the indian author books we have two indian author books especially uh, which is very popular in our indian medical students they are bd charasia and as well as visham singh but personally actually i took uh, visham singh because uh, i felt it's very good book as compared to bd charasia in terms of uh, like i will tell some differences between those books if you go with uh, bd charasia the the chapters are explained in a paragraphical wise you can't able to remember them in exam and you can't able to produce also in exam and you will get confused more if you uh, check visham singh book it is uh, a point was explained and also the diagrams are, uh, you can easily draw in the exam also but the diagrams in bd chaurasia they are a bit uh, tough it looks like same 3d images so uh, people actually in my batch too many students took bd chaurasia in the initial days but at the end of the our first year like when the exams are approaching they transferred or they shifted from bd chaurasia to visham singh so i personally recommend you all take visham singh so don't be the fomo that i i, I need to try, read only bd chaurasia so coming to anatomy in anatomy we need to study gross anatomy osteology histology and then embryology gross anatomy comprises of upper limb lower limb abdomen thorax and then neck so in visham singh we have three volumes i'll show you them you can see here head neck and brain and then abdomen and the lower limb and then upper limb and then uh, thorax whereas in bd chaurasia it comes in four volumes so you can only uh, understand how much huge from bd chaurasia so the next books i need to show the histology i took indrabir singh which is a very good book and very easy to remember and also to, to draw the diagrams in the exams also very good book i personally enjoyed this book by reading and then the embryology i took uh, visham singh again it is very uh, good book actually if you read gross from visham singh i recommend you to read embryology also from visham singh so that you can easily relate with the diagrams also properly and then last book that, that is i read in the initial days of our first year that is general anatomy from bd chaurasia some quick revision books especially they are too much useful in just one month before your exams i read these books and i got distinction in anatomy because of these books i can tell and they are called as selective anatomy from visham singh again they are very well explained again a beautifully structured if you read these two books i can guarantee you that you will get a very decent marks provided that you read entire visham singh properly in your uh, mbbs so don't directly jump into these books because because you won't get anything if you read this from uh, directly from these books so read everything from visham singh from three volumes and then at last just two months back of your exam you can completely shift to these books that can make a good marks in your first year the physiology uh, this is a subject which will tells you how our body is functioning inside and also this physiology forms a basis for your final year subjects also and your uh, if you if you are very strong in physiology pharmacology pathology then your final year medicine will be too much strong so please focus on understanding the physiology because it's a normal function of, of our body so don't uh, just retamar and then vomit in the exam it is not going to help you in your future so actually the standard book in the physiology are uh, gaiten and hall i personally read from that book some of the topics like action potentials and also a uh, neurophysiology they are very well explained but you can't able to remember them in exam also and you can't able to produce in exam also so our indian, indian author books also comes in physiology and they are ak jain jk pal and then shambhulingam i purchased uh, gk pal book and then for practical we have ak jain as well as gk pal so for practical purpose in physiology uh, ak jain book is very uh, well uh, written and also very easy to understand but if you are someone who wants to know each and everything depth so i recommend you to read theory from gk pal as well as practical as from gk pal 
बट आई टुक फॉर थेरी जी के पाल ने फॉर प्रैक्टिकल ए के जी ने टुक सो लेट मी शो माई जी के पाल बुक्स टू सी यू कैन सी हाउ इट इज दिस कंडीशन ऑफ दिस बुक this much it comes see you see the uh, thickness of the book and but i feel it's very good you can easily remember the lines from this book and you can easily write i tell you the trick how to get decent marks in physiology is put everything in the exam in the form of flow charts it will fetch you more marks than your uh, than your friends if they write in a paragraph format so try to write everything in flow charts and also if you are someone to uh, like and also explain to your friends don't simply memorize the things and try to visualize the things especially from the neurophysiology part all the tracks you should have you should have have the visual picture it is called visual me- memory you so it is a practical book from physiology it is gk pal's book and the last subject of the first year that is biochemistry i personally like the subject too much because it was my favorite in my first year so I, again in this Uh, subject also we have a gold standard book that is flipping cot but let me tell you too many of my classmates took this book but none of them have read this book at end they shifted to the indian author books only uh, so in indian author books we have two two books again they are vasudevan and satyanarayan i took vasudevan because it is very easy to read and, and also very easy to understand and produce an exam also and also the one more reason i took this book uh, because too many of our college professors also told this book to take so here is was given very uh, nicely explained again you can see this and then again i'll tell you some other book called rmp which is rm prasad book which is popularly known as rmp among the medical students for the quick revision as well as you can easily get a decent mark even if you read rm prasad also uh, actually i didn't uh, brought that book i took xerox so let me show these are rm prasad you can see here i made two xerox these are my rm books so before ending this video i want to clarify some of your doubts the first doubt is should i borrow books from the seniors or should i purchase new one according to me purchase new books is uh, recommended because if you take new books you can underline you can answer the important questions you can use the bookmarks you can use the markers If these all things are not gonna happen in the books which are already used by some other one. And the second doubt is, should I have to take a new editions or is it okay to read the last edition? According to me, again, please take a new edition because every day, every hour, new new trends, new new topics are being added in the medical field. So don't take old editions. Preferably read new editions because you are just entering into a medical medical field. So please try to buy a new books. And then the third point is. and coming to the important thing that is friendship according to me yes you need to have a healthy relationship among your classmates but it should be in the limit it should not go beyond the limit and also there is a famous saying in mbbs that is mbbs mein saap hota hai which means snakes do exist in your uh, classmates they are your, they are your classmates only uh, because you can't trust anyone completely or blindly yes you need to have a healthy relationship that's it because i know personally because too many of the students after struggling after cracking a need they lost they dropped out in the mid of their mbbs due to some uh, relationships so don't fall in the trap you came to do mbbs so focus on that try to fulfill your dreams and just go out of it don't do any extra things in the mbbs and coming to other important thing that is addiction see among the medical students uh, in the f- first year they feel that since they are staying away from their home away from their parents they think that now they are adults so they have all the chance or all the liberty to try some new new experiments among them like for example they can try for smoking they can try for drinking alcohol or they can have addiction to some other substance so please don't fall in this trap if you are if you fall in this trap take it me from uh, take from me gra- uh, granted that this will kill this will spoil your mbbs completely so don't fall into this trap make a healthy friendship make a healthy friendship circle that's it and now coming to important aspects of the mbbs first year that is mental health among the medical students in these days anxiety depression and other mental illness are increasing so if you are someone if you are suffering from any of the mental health disorders so please reach out to any psychiatrist or try to reach out to your family members or or any of your friends so don't keep with you yourself and struggle every day and coming to physical health which is equally important 
because uh, there is a saying as you know a healthy mind resides in a healthy and fit body also so please take care of your physical health you can join to any gyms uh, to your uh, near hostel and also make a habit to go for a walk every day or make a habit to play any sports it can be badminton cricket or any other sports which will make you uh, feel because uh, you know uh, if you are physically strong if you are walking jogging running anything it releases endorphins and it makes you very happy and the second and then the most important thing is respect especially to the professors in the medical college so if any professor are speaking with you so please try stand up and respect them don't answer anything by sitting uh, with the professors because they are the one who will give uh, internal marks and as well as a uh, good marks in your final exams so please be careful with the professors don't argue with any of the professors if they told cloud is blue cloud is red you should tell yes cloud is red that is how you, you need to behave with the professors and one more thing that i observed uh, among our classmates that is they'll keep on adding up the new new books so please don't do this mistake stick to any one particular book and read it repeatedly so that it should imprint in your brain so don't add up new new books if you're reading bd chaurasia read that only if you're reading hisham singh read that that only don't bring two two books and intermix them and you will you will go mad so don't do this so before buying any books try to compare the both the books which you need to buy like you can download those books in the pdf in the pdf format you can read the same topic from two books after that you only comes to know that which book is suits for you and that particular book you you can purchase and coming to online resources actually after 6 months of my f- uh, first year i took pw medad app which is really good i took in that first year only because even too many seniors told to me to take a prep ladder maru or bhatia and other online platforms but due to some economical problems i i didn't took that platform i took pw medad app only because it comes only for 4000 rupees and it is good also it's not like it is uh, less price and is not good no it's very good by using that platform only i got distinction in all the three sub- subjects like anatomy physiology and bio- biochemistry and coming to especially for the all india quota students if you are going to any other state so please try to learn that particular state language if you are in karnataka learn kannada if you are in andhra pradesh learn telugu if you are in kerala learn malayalam so please try to learn the local languages because you need to communicate with the patients in your subsequent years so and also if if at all it's possible try to make the local friends especially the students they are particular from that particular place so please make a friendship with the local students and regarding home sickness yeah i feel because too many of the students will be staying for the first time in their life away from their parents it feels heavy in the first initial months but as the day progresses if you are met with a, a, a good friends so slowly the intensity of that home sickness will go down gradually be consistent read every day at least 2 hours so, uh, like uh, don't think that my classmates or don't think my roommate is going out somewhere and is doing that this so don't be in that you need to read every day because so yeah it's my real experience based guidance for mbbs remember one, one thing mbbs is not a sprint it's a marathon read slowly consistently and learn smartly i hope this video helps you to make a better choices if you found this video helpful do share with your batchmates and subscribe till then this is sharma from bellary medical college signing off stay curious confident and read consistently because you are going to become a future doctor of our india okay bye